Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Afraid Not, and welcome to my first official video on Black Ops 3. I've managed to finally tear myself away from this game and make a video for you guys. Now, I know it's really late, I know a lot of people have made their first impressions already, but I wanted to leave it a few days. I've been playing it, as I say, quite a lot, and I wanted to give it a few days, because the first two days of me playing this game, there wasn't a bad thing that I could say about it, and I think if you was in a party with me over the over last weekend, you would know that I was just completely fanboying over this this game I was just like this is just so different from Advanced Warfare and Ghost and I had a different feeling a better feeling than I did especially playing Advanced Warfare for the first time I think that my first video or my first impressions video of Advanced Warfare was actually me playing on the classic playlist and I remember saying in the video that I just cannot stand the movement I just can't adjust to it right now and I'll need to play a lot more to kind of get adjusted to it but yeah this movement system for me is almost perfect now I don't like double jumps I don't like the whole you know, space floating mechanics of video games or first person shooter games. But on this game, if you've got to do it, I think that this game absolutely nails it. I think that this is the best way that they could have Im implemented it. So I've not got anything negative to say about the movement system, especially on this game. So about the score streaks, now there's a little bit of controversy about the score streaks. A lot of people are saying that they're really bad, a lot of people are saying that they're okay. Personally, I've been having a lot of fun with them. I don't think that they're bad. Every single kill streak or score streak that I've picked up and used, they've been very. I think they've been quite good, to be fair. I mean, I've been using the talent quite a lot. A lot of people are saying it's rubbish. It's not. If you use it properly, you can easily bag yourself sort of five or six kills with it. And I think you only have to get ten kills to be able to get that. So that's quite good. Um, I haven't used the Cerberus yet. I know a few people that are using it at the moment are saying that it's absolutely amazing. I've been in parties with people who have used it and have got sort of like 10, 15 kills off it. So I can't really see that being very bad. I haven't used anything like the mothership or anything over kind of the um, the wraps or whatever you call it, the new dogs. I haven't used them yet. Um, anything over that I haven't used unless I've got it out of care package, which you know was at the beginning of the game when I started. Well, yeah, when I started the game, I was running care package, but I'm not no longer running it anymore. So all the kill streaks for me are really fun to use, and everyone that I've used, I've had a lot of fun with. My next major positive with this game is the challenges. I'm just sitting here and I'm just constantly going to the challenges pages, getting all the camos. I've actually got two gold guns already I'm almost on my third one I think I'm working on the Vespa which is quite difficult to use but if you put a few if you put a few attachments on it it turns it into a total different beast I might make a video on it because a lot of people are saying that it's good a lot of people are saying it is bad and it's just like yeah if you put the right perks and uh, perks if you put the right attachments on it it turns it into an absolute monster so uh, yeah I'm working on getting that gold at the moment and um, there's a few guns that I really like and there's a few guns that I really dislike and the guns that I really dislike are the guns that are being used against me mainly the Gorgon LMG that seriously needs to be looked at a two shot kill pretty much from any range that seriously needs to be looked at and I'm sure it will I haven't actually used it personally yet I might use it today just to kind of get a feel and actually have a proper opinion on it but every time that I tend to die at the moment it's just to this Gorgon LMG and it feels like I'm being sniped it really does but what Treyarch I think have done right is that the balance between ARs and SMGs is really, really well. I don't find that uh, one SMG dominates over another SMG or, you know, an AR dominates over another AR. Maybe I, t I am totally wrong, but I know that a lot of people are saying the Man of War is really good, but I know a few people again and myself, I struggle to use it at times, but I know that the, it does hit quite well. So the gun balancing for the ARs and SMGs are very, very good. I think the shotguns took a nerf since the beta, which is a little bit gutting because I don't really see them anymore. I saw them quite a lot in the beta and maybe maybe they probably did need a little nerf but now they just seem to be totally useless. I mean, I haven't used one yet, so let me know, guys, in the comments if you've used the uh, shotguns and thought any different. I've seen a few videos online, people talking about the maps, and there's, again, a lot of mixed opinions about the maps. I think they're really good. There's only one or maybe even two maps that I really don't like. Other than that, I really like them all. They've gone back to the Black Ops 2 style maps with the three lanes and a lot of head glitches. Now, a lot of people are moaning about the head glitches, and I did during Black Ops 2, but once you kind of adjust to the maps and know where all the head glitches are, you can start using them to your advantage and get from point to point and just pick off people and it literally is just about learning them. Once you learn all where all the head glitches are, you start using them to your advantage, you will do very well on this game. I've also seen a lot of criticism online saying that this game is slow paced, but I do feel that if you actually sat down and played Advanced Warfare for the full year, you are going to look at this game and think it's slow paced compared to that. Of course you are, because that is complete chaos. And this game, to a certain degree, is chaos, but it's a controlled chaos. 
And I remember Von der Haar, before the game came out, actually said that he, that's the focus he was going on. He was going for chaos in COD, but he wanted it controlled chaos. And I think that's where he's gone for with the three lanes, the head glitches and things like that. And I think he's achieved exactly his agenda. I think that this is a controlled chaos game and I love it. I know that this is a good COD game for me personally, um, at this, especially at this time anyway, because I am getting shit on sometimes in lobbies and I'm still enjoying myself and that says so much. I mean, I was getting good gameplays in Advanced Warfare and just not enjoying it at all. You know, that's the whole difference between this game and the last. And I don't think I can finish this video really on a positive note because I'm going to have to just speak just one or two words about the lag. The lag is horrendous. Now, when I play solo, the lag is absolutely fine. I have absolutely no problems. Maybe if I get one person in my party, again, no problems at all. But when I've got t you know, I've got a party of like five or six people who want to play together, it just doesn't happen. The lag is ridiculous. I'm getting 400 pings. I'm, sometimes I'm not even finding a lobby. It's that bad at the moment. And I can understand that it's teething problems. The game's only been out a week. Um, so it will happen over time. But I just feel like, why did they have a beta? Because I thought the beta was to kind of sort all this out and have a smooth launch. And especially, I didn't have these sort of problems. We was getting sort of four, five, even six man teams in a, on the beta. And we had no problems at all. So I don't really understand what's happened. And this is all on the PS4, by the way. I bought it on PS4, so that's my console this year. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the gameplay. If you are enjoying COD, and if you're not enjoying COD, please leave me a comment where I can start a discussion down below. Um, please leave a rating, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.